Hi, my name is Tom Prowse and I'm a Data School Consultant at the Information Lab. In this session, I'm going to go through how to publish a Tableau Prep workflow to the Tableau server. Within Tableau Prep, I am using the Sample Superstore workflow, which is provided by Tableau. As you can see, there's some data changes happening throughout the workflow. And then we have a few uh, outputs. So if I click on this output here, notice how we have a few different options from this drop down on the left hand side. The first one is a file. So this is where you can choose your hyper files or CSVs. The next one is the published data source. Now this is the one we are going to choose for this uh, explanation because this is how you connect to the Tableau server. And you also have a database table if you want to connect to a database. So if I choose publish data source, notice how I have uh, the option to select a server. So if I choose this, and then this is where I can sign in to my server. Now this is the same as a normal um, Tableau desktop. So if I wanted to connect to the information lab server, I can paste my credentials in there and then Tableau will open up my login page just here. So this is where you use your login, which should be the same as you would normally do. And then you would choose the site which you want to access. So for this one, I'm going to use the web editor training. Now that I've connected to my Tableau server, if I just make this a little bigger, you can see the server address and then the site which you're connected to. So the next option is to select a, a project which you want to connect to. So this is the list of the product uh, projects. I'm going to choose data sources. Now, within the Tableau Superstore workflow, it already has a name, so we're going to keep it the same as this. We're going to give it a little description. Superstore workflow. And now we have a few different options um, if what happens when we refresh the table. So the first one is create table. So this will create a brand new table and if the table already exists, it will be deleted. So it will just replace that table. The next one is the append to table. So this will add data to an existing table and then create a new table if it doesn't exist already. So for this option, I'm going to use create table because I know it hasn't already been created on my Tableau server. So once you've selected that, all we need to do now is to run the workflow. Now this is now going through and publishing it straight to our Tableau server. And there we go, there it's done. And then once it's completed, the Tableau server will update up and open. And notice how within my web editor training site, in my data sources, I now have my data source updated straight from Tableau prep. Now that we have published our data source up into our, our Tableau server, we can also publish our, our workflow. So using the server button up in the menu, we have two options. This is the first one, which tells us which server we're uh, logged into. And then we also have a publish flow button. So if I choose that, uh, notice there is a dial dialog box which opens where I can choose my project. So I'm going to choose data sources. Uh, I can change the name, so Superstore Workflow. I can give it a description and add tags to help it uh, help me find it easier. But for now, I'm just going to leave those blank. We can also edit the connections. So depending on what options we want here, we can do uh, an upload or we can do direct connection. For this, I'm going to use just the upload where this is going to upload each of my different inputs. And all I need to do now is publish by pressing this. Now this is taking the whole workflow and then publishing it to my Tableau server. So not just the data source. Once this is done, the Tableau server opens. And notice now I have my whole workflow and I can run as and when needed. 
So that's how you publish to a Tableau server from Tableau Prep. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and take a look at the next video in the series, which is all about incrementally refreshing your data.